do you get when you combine boxers, wrestlers, and martial artists, put them in an octagon-shaped ring, and plant that ring in the middle of the craziest town on Earth? You get the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And when you take the Ultimate Fighting Championship to the PlayStation 2, you get a brand new fighting game, UFC Throwdown. UFC is Ultimate Fighting Championship. It's uh, the premier mixed martial arts competition in the world. It was established in 1993 kind of as a spectacle for pay-per-view, pitting like jujitsu experts against pretty much all the other martial arts out there. The Ultimate Fighting Championship is 100% real. All of the fights are, the guys are actually making contact with each other. There's actually blood, there's actually arms being twisted in positions that cause them to tap out. It's punches, kicks, it's real, real contact, full contact, minimal gloves, not like boxing where there's a bunch of padding. To find out more about the Ultimate Fighting Championship, we headed to Las Vegas to check out UFC 36 Worlds Collide at the MGM Grand Hotel. It's mixed martial arts, uh, it incorporates everything, um, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, submissions. In the beginning of the sport, I think it was more or less people training with their own style, and now everybody's going out and trying to gather up people that know as much about each one of them as they possibly can. I've trained in all of them, and for me, it's just something that, that combines them all and makes it more exciting, I think. UFC is two men into the octagon, and the best man leaves. All the fighters that we talked to in Las Vegas loved UFC Throwdown on the PlayStation 2. Not just because of the amazing action, but because of all the ways that you can play the game. We have several modes in the game. The arcade is very similar to what you would want to play in an arcade, where you use fight after fight after fight just to get into the action, play, have fun. The UFC mode is actually a simulation of the actual event, which you would see on a pay-per-view event on television. So you have bracketed systems where you move to win the championship belt. Another mode is tournament mode. That's the party mode, where up to eight players, human or computer-controlled players, can go into a game and battle it out in their own UFC tournament and buy for the ultimate control of their own octagon in the living room, basically. Well, what kind of I'm really happy with, with the PlayStation 2 version, is what we're calling the career mode. I played up as like the build the best mode. And what it does is it lets you spend anywhere from 10 or 15 hours really customizing your character. In career mode, a player goes in and begins to create their character, chooses the fighting style, chooses how they look, skin tone, color their clothes, and decides to name them, their hometown, everything. And when they complete those, they get extra skill points that they can assign to things like their punch skill, grappling skill. If it's maybe a heavier fighter, he's gonna start out slower. So they can increase their speed. After that is done, they can take them through a training process. Well, you need to go see like a jujitsu master if you wanna learn jujitsu moves. So you actually go and we take the player through um, learning the different moves as opposed to just giving it to them. And you have a certain amount of like points that you can apply to different um, disciplines. So you have to pick early on, you know, am I gonna focus on wrestling, you know, for ground-based fighting and kickboxing for striking? Then I've gotta go and actually meet with those masters and they'll enter you into like small tournaments where you actually get more points. The game's artists worked overtime to bring the action from the octagon to life. Well, the beautiful thing about this game is our character models. We have character models that are 9,000 polys plus, which allows us to put a lot of detail into the characters. You'll be able to see their facial animations and the body, as you move your character's arms, the muscles will flex. You'll see hair from real textures that we created by actually taking photos of the fighters. So when you look at the fighters, you'll see scars, tattoos, anything that the real fighter would have on their body, you'll see in the game. The shading and movement is extremely smooth. The characters are textured to near perfection because these are the fighters that we were trying to emulate and honor in this game. So they kind of need to be close into the detail so hopefully the fighters will be happy and not come and make, make us their own little UFC. With all the work that the UFC Throwdown team has done on the game, we wonder if they had any favorite characters. Yeah, that's kind of a tough one because I've worked with these guys for about the last two years and I met a lot of the fighters and I, as I mentioned before, you know, a lot of them have become actually pretty close friends. These guys 
are totally different in the ring than they are outside of the ring. They're definitely some of the nicest guys you'll ever meet and you'll never, could never understand that these guys get in there and, and hit each other as hard as they can in the octagon. I would have to probably say Chuck Liddell, um, the Iceman, um, because the guy's got just the most amazing kicks and punishing kicks that you could ever see in the UFC and then we've replicated that really closely in, in the actual game. <laughs> The reason I use Tito Ortiz is because he's a well-rounded fighter. He has a lot of standing moves, like punches, kicks, and a lot of ground moves, so he can work the ground as well. So if I'm fighting a wrestler, you know, he takes me down, I actually have really strong moves on the ground, and he's, he's very diverse. I'm hoping some of the fighters will come down and check out the game, and I'm hoping that they're going to like it and have some fun with us.